So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today, I want to talk about the DNA of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Some people amongst the children of Nuh and then Nuh Alayhis children Yafiz and from his children Gag Magag or Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Um, some of them they became uh, they came to the Jewish religion and they were of European descent. Now, obviously, a lot of the Jewish brothers they are not okay with this. So, in a lot of the Jewish seminaries, the Jewish universities, there's a lot of talk about trying to deny the link between their European heritage and and being Jewish. And uh, one such professor, because I want to talk about this and want to give substantial evidence that no, the European Jews are Europeans who became Jewish, not that they were Israelites, because the Israelites obviously had a different, uh, you know, color, language, and I'm going to talk a little bit about all of that. But those of you that have been following my videos will know that the Khazaris are the people of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And because of this, because of this, and one of the actual, for me, a kind of evidence that they are, that, that Ya'juj and Ma'juj are part of the uh, the the Khazari lineage, the Khazari Turkish lineage, which I'll talk a little bit about today. Today's my lecture might be a little bit boring, but stick stick with me because it's very very important. Because I also want to ask some brothers to dedicate themselves to do research on this issue. So I want to start off by mentioning that you know yes, a lot of Jews, uh, Jewish professors uh, have been giving lectures on the fact that uh, you know that they don't have a year, even though they're white and speak Yiddish and were Jews in Poland and Germany, they're trying to deny the fact that they have any European links, which is kind of funny. But over here I want you to hear something very interesting. So this is a lecture, this is the, you know, a lecture is given by a professor, and now there's a question and answer session. I want you to hear this, it's very, very interesting because this person that's asking the question, if you can't hear him, I'm going to play it and then ex and, and then hopefully it, it should be self-explanatory. Uh, I'm just going to play it, inshallah, and then you just get closer to the camera here. So this person says, as you'll see, you know, my father, his name was Khazari. His last name, his surname was Khazari, and he's a Jew. So is it not possible we came from there? So this is the question that he's asking, right? So now... This is a bit personal, but I would like to know, is it is it possible that some Khazars Khazars, they came in the first wave of Tatarians who invade Poland in very early uh, age of 12th, 14th century. The question is because my grand grandfather had the name Khazarin, and the family story says that he was one of these Tatarians coming to Poland and he was probably, probably somehow arrested and settled in Poland. And so here he goes, and he, he's in, so he's going to deny it, he's going to say, no, it's, you know, fables and this and that, your last name Khazari has nothing to do with the fact you were part of Khazar. That's fine. I'm going to give some evidence today that is basically uh, undeniable and talk about some things that are basically undeniable, including this. Um, there has been a recent book that came out, let's see if you can see this. Let me turn off my phone. Uh, uh, a lot of people have been calling me today. Sorry about this. Uh, so let me show this to you. Uh, if you can see it, it would be great. Uh, the, let's see, I don't know if you can see it. But it says the Jews of Khazaria, okay? You're going to get this on Amazon, which is basically one of the most decisive books on this issue. A lot of books have been written on this issue. A lot of literature has been written to deny this, that there are European Jews with, Jew with European DNA who are European originally. So the story goes like this from a Jewish perspective, even though there is tons of literature because the Khazaris were in between the Russians and the Muslims. And so the way the Jewish people like to frame how Khazaris have been claimed to be Jews is they like to say, well, the Arabs, the Muslims were trying to defeat the Khazaris. They couldn't defeat the Khazaris. And because 
they were so hard to defeat, they didn't like them, they hated them, and because they hate the Jews the most, therefore they called the Khazaris the Jews. So this is kind of like, but the amount of literature, both in the side of the Muslims and on the side of the Russians, okay, that have written about the Khazaris and their acceptance of Judaism and the recent, this book particularly that talks about the archaeology and everything of it, it's undeniable that they were European and these European people accepted uh, Judaism. One of the questions that's very, a little bit hard to answer intellectually in the academic circle is, okay, if they became uh, Jews in, in near the Black Sea, and near these areas, how did they end up in Poland and Germany? Which is also interesting, because when you look at the, the Jewish language, which is Yiddish, Yiddish is so close to German. If you learn Yiddish, you'll begin to understand Germany. And if you learn Germany and you hear somebody speaking Yiddish, you begin to understand it, you understand even Yiddish language. So the fact that, in fact, that they do the two languages between Hebrew and Hebrew and Yiddish don't have a relationship with each other shows again that because people, you know, when they intermix and stuff, there are words in Yiddish that are similar to Hebrew, but by and large, Yiddish is much closer to German languages. Uh, but how did the Khazaris end up doing it in, in, in German and Polish? Uh, Eskenani Jews literally means J J German Jews. Uh, also, um, so the, the the languages being so different shows that there is no lineage relationship, but that they were actually from that area, and in this case, near the German area. Okay. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is the letters that are become very famous. That a, a Jewish rabbi in Spain, because you remember the Jews were in Spain, uh, received a letter from the Khazaris explaining how their great-great-grandfather had become Muslim and he was the king and that's how the Khazaris had become uh, they had become Jewish um, and there are different stories about this uh, one that Dr. Sir Ahmed mentions is that you know they were in between the Muslims and the Christians and they asked the Christians uh, you know between uh, Islam and uh, Islam and Judaism, which one would you choose? And they said, we'll choose Judaism. And they asked uh, the Muslims between Christianity and Judaism, which one would you choose? Uh, they said, we'd choose Judaism. And so they chose Joda Judaism, which was in between the two. So this is one of the stories in the letters, or one of the events in the letters. The Jewish people have another, but they basically mock these stories. That, you know, who would accept religion doing this, and so on and so forth. But, here is the point that I really wanted to bring out. Uh... So, um, and that is the DNA evidence that has now come from two different sources. One from Oxford University, which I'll talk about. Now, like I said, my talk today might be a little bit boring, but it's extremely important because to understand, yeah, Jujin and Ma'ajuj are from, are from European descent, and they're from the children of Nuh from the children of Yafis, as is mentioned uh, in the Bible, okay? And uh, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, as they're mentioned in the Bible, and uh, as the Quran kind of indirectly lays out how these people will uh, be able to come back to their uh, to 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 the land of Jerusalem. Okay, and so uh, it is undeniable evidence that this has become clear with the evident uh, the uh, the advent of DNA research in 2001. Dr. Aurelia, so I'm going to spell out the name, Dr. A-R-I-E-L-L-A-O-P-P, -P, and this last name is O-P-P-E-N-H-E-I-M, Oppenheim, and her team at Tel Aviv University released their study, which found that Jews were mainly Khazars, from Khazaria, the Caucasus country, which is now in, you know, Georgia, Kazakhstan, this area, okay? Then... Uh, in 2012, uh, an Israeli-born scientist, Dr. Uh, Dr. Aaron, E-R-A-N, so Aaron or Aaron uh, Elhik, E-I-L-H-I-K, okay, of the Mac, uh, Kusik Nathan's Institute of Genetic Science, uh, John Hopkins Medical University published his research in the Journal of Biology and Evolution considered by genes, gen, uh, by genesists uh, 
worldwide as the definitive study peer approved this authoritative research confirmed uh, the original research okay there is there are no blood or family connections amongst Jews this person says from John Hopkins who is doing the research connected to John Hopkins University the various groups of Jews in the world today do not share a common genetic gene their genome is largely Khazar whatever Israelite blood blood the Khazar Jews have added the doctor is minuscule okay so they are not part of Bani they are Yehud they are Jews but they are not Bani Israel and these people have come to their quote unquote homeland in a place that they had no genetic links to because all their genetic links go back to Khazar okay so this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to in Surah Al-Anbiya so these people now the people in, in, in Israel the Jews in Israel they are they are European Jews they're not Bani Israel Jews and so this is the point I wanted to make clear I want somebody to take the study of the Khazaris and uh, the, the, how they became Jews and where they moved from there how did they end up in Poland how did they end up in Germany I want somebody to do studies on this because it's very important because there are Jewish people today denying it and you know fake news becomes real news very fast and so we need the evidences just on our side so that in case as there is already a movement towards this type of denial that we have nothing to do with being Khazaris uh, somebody needs to do the research and make it definitive uh, so anyway this is what I wanted to talk about today please do subscribe to us and please like us and comment for us and I will be talking even more about the Khazaris and the DNA research and all of this inshallah as time moves forward um, because I mean this is a serious subject that needs to be well documented Jazakumullah khairan Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah